This is a continuation of yesterday's video, for those who haven't watched it, no problem, you can watch the previous video after watching this, because it doesn't matter which video you watch first. You can watch the first video by clicking the link on the description box. I have compiled all about Illuminati signs and symbols into one major guide, complete with examples. I hope this helps guide you through some basic occult symbols that can be found throughout the mainstream media and influences of pop culture. As the elite speak in signs and symbols, we must work to decipher what they mean. These symbols can be found everywhere, even in company logos. Some companies use a symbol to show they are open to the so-called enlightenment. Almost every company will have some sort of reference to one of these symbols. It's not a random coincidence that all these companies have these in common. It's a sign of allegiance between these companies who are all brotherhood occultists. The symbols are all in plain sight we are just blind to see them because we aren't trained to think like that. We just assume someone in the marketing department came up with a logo, and that's why the logo is what it is. Logos often have dual meanings, everything in the world does. A company or an institution may say, this represents one thing, when in reality, it represents other things as well. Never take the straightforward answer and always search deeper into the origins of such things. Before I continue the video, please smash that like button for me. Thank you. The infinity sign stands for duality which most of these symbols stand for, hence the black and white tiles which I also discussed in part 1. And as above as below, they're big believers in duality and balance. But it also stands for magic and witchcraft, you can see it being used on the magician tarot card. You can also find the infinity symbol in the satanic bible and on the satanic cross, at the bottom of the cross that Anton Levy created. It stands for entirety, balance, and truth. The Illuminati believe they are infinite and will exist forever. It is also called the Leviathan Cross. Often, if you look for it, there are celebrities that have tattoos of it on their body. You can find it in the satanic bible as well. The origins of this symbol go back to the Knights of Templar. The knights worshipped the Baphomet and at their core were Satanists and occultists. The cross is made out of the infinity sign at the bottom and a double cross at the top. The double cross symbolizes balance and protection. They use this cross as a mockery to Christians usually. It is also used in witchcraft and magic to represent sulfur, one of the three essential elements of nature. It is also a symbol for brimstone. The cage is a representation of MK Ultra that musicians and actors are under. The cage also represents the bondage or slavery-like existence that the actor or musician is put through. Such as the physical and mental enslavement they get when they join the occult. You will see it in music videos, movies, TV shows, on album covers and during performances. Usually, the musician breaks out of the cage. The symbol looks much like a 2, however, it also looks like a V which represents Venus or Lucifer. The V also stands for Vulcan and the Roman numeral 5. The Roman numeral of five is a representation of the Law of Fives which Adam Weishaupt and several occultists also believe this hand sign represents. The V in Hebrew means nail, which is the secret title of Satan in the Brotherhood of Satanism. The V stands for the horned pagan god, Pan, and the symbol when flashed represents intercourse with the devil, as well as the pagan god. The V can also represent the horns of the devil. The ank goes back to ancient Egypt, it is an Egyptian cross that symbolizes a mythical eternal life, rebirth, and the life-giving, power of the sun. You will see all Egyptian gods that the Illuminati worship, holding the ank. You will also see on Aleister Crowley's book, 777, on the spine, the ank. It represents the rebirth of the Antichrist, and the birth of the occult and Satanism. You can find it all over Hollywood and sometimes in Masonic lodges. Another Freemason hand gesture that is used in Freemason rituals, but is also used in Hollywood and sometimes in politics as well. It is a common sign to see in the news industry and politicians use. As it represents the power behind the scenes and the cult's constant presence. As well as the brotherhood between the members of the occult. The Baphomet is a pagan idol that the Knights of Templar worshipped, and that continues to have its a presence throughout the ranks of the occult today. You will see being used to represent the Church of Satan, and sometimes occultism in general. The Baphomet is sometimes used to represent the devil as well, show on the tarot card. You can find imagery of goats in pop culture, this is because the Baphomet sometimes represented by a goat. The inverted cross is used to mock and disrespect Christianity. 
It's found in megachurches usually, these churches are sometimes used as fronts for the dark arts. They claim the inverted cross, honors, Peter, however, the inverted cross is used as an anti-Christian symbol as more recent times. And is starting to become entirely an anti-Christian symbol. We all know, we shouldn't go around flicking people off, but this hand sign has occult roots as well. The middle finger represents Saturn, Saturn represents Satan, the two being one and the same. Yet another way to pay homage to Satan, these hand signs are all one, and the same with paying respect to Satan. This hand sign is often used in rock and roll, however, this symbol is also used in the occult and rituals. The hand sign is also used to pay homage to the devil. It fake meaning is peace and love however, like the other peace signs and symbols it means the exact opposite is being wished for. This symbol is prominent as video company logos, organizations, and the music industry. Yin represents eternity, dark and femininity. Yin is represented by the moon. Yang represents history, light, and masculinity. Yang is represented by the sun. The symbol also reflects the black and white like the Freemason tiles and duality. You can trace the symbol's roots back to Eastern religions such as Buddhism, in the Western world it was adopted into the symbolism of magic and astrology, as well as witchcraft. Another magical sign that appeared sometime before the 3rd century in China. It became widespread to sorcerers and mystics because it embodies so many possible meaning. That's according to books on black and white magic. Freemasons adopted the black and white duality to hide its true meaning from the public standing. Also known as the Sigil of Lucifer is a lesser-known historical magical sigil, used occasionally as an emblem by modern Satanists. The image originates back in the 16th century from Italy it was used in conjunction with other symbols, but its original purpose was to aid in a visual indication of the Angel of Lucifer. This symbol was often used in the black magic rituals to do such a thing. It is also referred to as the Crusader's Cross or the Jerusalem Cross. It was supposedly worn by the first Grand Master of the Knights of Templar. The Cross of the Baphomet is worn by high-ranking occultists such as Albert Pike and appears on much Freemasonry 33rd degree notepaper in a slightly modified form. It is part of the signature of Aleister Crowley, it is also found as the logo of the New Catholic Bible. A serpent or dragon, consuming its own tail, it is a symbol of infinity, unity, and the cycle of death and rebirth. The oculists often use it as a way of confirming their never-ending rule and a lifetime of eternity, believing they can continue to rule after death by being reincarnated and living life in their position once more. Also known as the OK Hand Sign, this is a common sign you will see throughout Hollywood, some celebrities even covering their one eye with the sign on the front of magazines and in photoshoots. It is one you will see constantly pushed in the mainstream media as well. The three fingers representing the tail of three sixes. You will often see two pillars in monuments and throughout the media and art influences. The two pillars Jachin and Bose, also known as Solomon's Pillars. Heavily used in Freemasonry to represent duality and as above so below. You can find the two pillars being used in tarot cards as well. These two pillars will be found in every Freemason Lodge, guaranteed. The origins of the Tree of Life can be traced back to Kabbalah. Kabbalah is an esoteric method, discipline, and school of thought that originated in Judaism. The Tree of Life is a diagram used in various mystical traditions. It usually consists of 10 nodes symbolizing different archetypes, and 22 lines connecting the nodes. The nodes are often arranged into three columns, to represent that they belong to a common category. The sigil of Baphomet is the official insignia of the Church of Satan, and is trademarked and copyrighted by the Church of Satan. The sigil of Baphomet first appeared on the cover of the Satanic Mass LP in 1968, and later on the cover of the Satanic Bible in 1969, becoming yet another one of the many occult symbols. The Eye of the God Horus, a symbol of protection, now associated with the occult and chemitism can be traced back to ancient Egypt and has significant mention in mystery religions and such. Can be synonymous with the Eye of Providence, both representing greater power or omniscience. To end this guide I would like to talk about a few basic things, if you happen to like monarch butterflies or a girl working at the grocery store has black and white checkered pants, I'm not saying either of you are Satanists, occultists or elites in disguise. 
I'm saying that in the background of the newest music video they slip in a mural of a butterfly or a backdrop that's entirely black and white, they put those things in for a reason. Think about how tedious making a film is, no frame goes to waste. Everything is put in for a reason, nothing is random. Another thing is the fact that most of the historical figures we know are Freemasons or have some connection to the Illuminati is because, not only having the position for power, but that we would also become socially programmed to connect Freemasons with greatness and power. It's not your fault that you can't pick up these signs and symbols at certain times. None of us could, at first. We weren't taught of the system and its operations. We were put down the dumbing down of the school system. For it really is the elites that speak in the language of signs and symbols. I hope my posts assist you in knowing the truth. Your support is always appreciated greatly, thank you for taking the time to watch this. This was everything inside me channel. Please like, drop a comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell too. Thanks for watching till the end. Stay safe and healthy.